so is Cassian evaluating his escape plan here? Oh, he's saying goodbye to his friend. Oh, he was so nice. I liked him. Where are you going? See, look how nice and concerned he is. And this is a transport that that other guy was on. I'm thinking this guy is like very, very early days rebel. Um, and he's coming to recruit. Our favorite character. Reinforcement put out a bulletin last night for someone needing Cassie's description. Wait, why are they talking about Cassie? Well, doesn't mention them by name. It says they're looking for someone from Canary. And these guys are still on their way over after that very inspiring speech. Reaper density acceptable. Airborne concentration minimal. No detectable gas toxicity. B2 Emo, our other favorite character. He looks cleaner. Did he get an oil bath or something? Look how shiny and red and clean he looks. He looks so different from the first couple of episodes. Oh, I'm so dumb, you guys. That's why V2 Emo looks so clean. This is in the past. Why is my... Ugh, I'm just... Ugh. It takes me so long to like process what's even happening. <laughs> Just forget I said anything. <laughs> oh, this is when his this is when his adoptive mother found him. Marva. Oh, this is gonna be a sweet story. It could be open season here the moment that figure lands. <laughs> oh she like low key kidnaps him. A warrant for Cassie and Andor. Cassie and Droid. Mama Marva. Pull his power supply. No. Don't let them scare you, B. They can't do that. Oh, you guys. I don't even know why. <laughs> Just something about the the connection between Marva and B two the droid and Cassian and their little like makeshift family like makes me emotional I feel so dumb <laughs> I'm like getting teary if this is me during episode three I don't even want to know <laughs> what the finale is gonna be like B2 emo especially just like gets to me because he just cares about Cassian and Marva so much and he's so cute <laughs> The arrogance is remarkable, isn't it? They don't even think about us. Boss, I don't know you. Fair enough, but I know you. These days will end, Cassian Ander. Yeah, so this guy's gonna recruit Cassian into the very, very early rebellion. And that's where the fun starts! Okay, here's what I need, though. Here's what I need. I need B2 Emo to be okay. And I need Martha to be okay. And I need Bix to be okay. So as long as Disney meets those three requirements, then we're good. But every character that I like needs to live. Please. <laughs> Please. I don't want Marva to die. That'll be so sad. I feel like of all three of those, Marva would be the one that Disney would chop. But I don't want her to die. She's such a nice lady. <laughs> What is all this? What does all that mean? Oh, wow. I don't know, like, I want to feel bad, but they just set him up as, as such an unlikable character. What's, is, he, is this guy gonna leave by himself? Nah. What is he doing? Oh, 
why was he in such a hurry to leave? Literally nothing was happening. He got spooked so easily. They're so cool. They make such a cool little team. <laughs> Awesome. And this guy's such a jerk. They just let him go. I mean, I guess he feels humiliated and they weren't like super nice, but they let him live. He should be a little bit nicer. Wow, look, what a mess. That's such a cool speeder bike. Too, you're the best. I oh, know. Why is she crying? Because Cassian has to go. Oh no, is he gonna cry too? No, don't do this to me. I think it's like hitting him what he's started. Just like the sheer chaos of what he thought was gonna be a simple mission of retrieving a criminal in his mind. like not expecting it to be that emotional <laughs> okay give me a minute and then we'll do the recap I was not expecting that Tony Gilroy and the team you guys are doing so good just so many things about this show work it feels so grounded in reality. I think that's why the emotional beats actually hit because it feels like, it feels real. And the characters work so well. Immediately, Bix was a strong character because right out the gate, you could like you could just feel her strength and also her loyalty and her integrity as a person and as a friend. So love Bix. And B2 Emo is awesome, even though at first I thought it was weird that he could talk, but it totally works because for the first time you can like hear what like droids have been saying this whole time. Like, I mean, C3PO could talk the whole time, but he's a very humanoid droid. But R2D2 and I guess we can include BB-8 in that now or R4. They are likely saying stuff like B2 Emo does all the time. But we would just be walking around crying all the time because of how, like, sweet the droids are. So thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness the droids can only be. Can you imagine that B2 Emo has my heart? <laughs> and, I mean, we already knew we liked Cassian, but this is giving us an additional layer to Cassian. Like, it gives him so much more depth as a character. Marva is a great character, just like her sweet smile at the end of that episode there to young Cassian when she's rescuing him from Pinari. It like low-key broke my heart because <laughs> it's just it's so sweet like she already loves him like a son even though she literally just rescued him. Like you can just 
feel the motherly energy, which is so ironic considering that she's Aunt Petunia, the least motherly figure. It's kind of funny. She's a great actress. So, yeah. And the music is amazing and just the way they're filming it, the way everything feels so like, just like used and like nothing's like squeaky clean. Like you can really feel like this world is lived in and run down. And before I like just ramble any longer, I'll just leave it at that. It's so good. This show has got me. It, I am in. If I was hesitant before, after episodes one and two, I am not anymore. I feel like I'm going to try to do a better job of emotionally preparing myself before every episode because I can't be tearing up <laughs> this early on. That's just too embarrassing. So I'll try to be more prepared for next time. But yeah, that was awesome. <sighs> am I ready for episode four? I don't know. I'm going to charge my camera right now. We might be back for episode four right away. I might wait until tomorrow, but that was a great episode. Thank you so much for coming along with me on my Andor viewing journey. I hope you enjoyed episode three as much as I did. Let me know in the comments what you thought, and if you'd like to see my reactions to any of the previous episodes, then you can find those in my Andor series playlist here, <laughs> and I'll see you there. Until then, God bless, and I'll see you soon.